Hello, sisters. Welcome to episode four. We're on week four now. So today's topic is one of my absolute favorite topics, and that is cycle syncing. So we have four stages in our menstrual cycle. It's follicular, ovulatory, luteal, and then menstrual. So it's really important once you figure out how to balance your hormones, once you figure out your root cause of PCOS and start taking supplements or medication that the doctor's prescribing, you should really start to see a difference and start to get your menstrual cycle back. So once you do, it's really important to exercise during each phase and eat the right foods. So in this series, I'm going to talk about cycle syncing. So let's get started. So our phase number one is follicular phase. So what happens during this phase? Our estrogen levels rise, our uterine lining thickens, our eggs are getting prepared to drop through the fallopian tubes for our next phase, the ovulatory. This is the one of the longer phases. It's between one and 13 days. So most of us will have just had a period, so it's really important to get those nutritious foods back in. So we want to thank steamed vegetables, um, lighter meats, lighter grains, that kind of thing. And exercise-wise, we'll want to focus on maybe even trying something new, trying like a dance class. Just feel your body. If you feel good, great, um, but still not quite time for some of those higher intensity workouts just yet. Um, towards the end of this phase, you might start to feel pretty good because um, that'll be the end of almost two weeks. And then we can start kind of increasing your weights and start doing some more HIIT workouts. So that would be phase one. Phase two is going to be our ovulatory phase. So ovulatory is a very short phase. It's between one and three days. So you actually exercise wise might feel the best in this phase. You might you might PR in some of your lifts, etc., or run. Um, so that's a great phase to peak because your testosterone is going to be the highest. So during that phase, of course, our progesterone rises and our um, testosterone goes up and our, oh, actually it's our follicle stimulating hormone that rises so that releases the egg but that is also when our testosterone peaks so that's why you have this energy so um, foods during this time of the ovulatory phase are going to be like light fruits veggies um, and lighter grains during that ovulatory phase so phase number three is going to be our luteal phase. So our luteal phase, um, our progesterone rises, estrogen and progesterone then go to a halt, and then testosterone gets triggered, and that's what causes a bleed towards the end. So our follicular phase is also another kind of longer um, cycle. It's between 1 and 13 days. So during this time, you're gonna have the energy in the beginning, once you get off that ovulatory phase, you're still gonna have high energy, kind of that high testosterone going on. So the beginning of this stage, you should be pretty good for about that week. It's that week before your period that you might wanna to start to listen to your body, start to slow it down, maybe try some yoga, maybe just do some light stretching and walking instead, maybe just do some lighter weights, but low um, and resistance training, like not high intensity, not HIIT workouts. So during this phase, we wanna prepare for um, a bleed. So we wanna eat foods that are rich in like vitamin B, so, you know, this would be a great time to have like a steak, you know, maybe some bacon during this phase, especially towards the end, because we want to prepare for um, the bleed. So, um, and great time to have like leafy greens and roasted vegetables. Great time to have that. So our final phase is going to be our menstrual phase. So this is between one and five days. Our hormones um, tend to drop off, which triggers the shedding of our lining. So during this phase, we're gonna feel the least energy, especially in the beginning, those one to three days in the beginning, take a rest. These are great times to just take rest days. 
um, it's okay to say resting is an activity during this time because you really just want to listen to your body. So you can do some light activity during this if you feel up to it. Go for a walk, maybe do some yoga, some stretching. Um, really just hone in and listen to your body. Towards the end of your cycle, if you're feeling good, you can start to pick that up again and kind of start out like you're in your uh, follicular phase and start over. So foods during your period, we really want to focus on nutritious foods. So this is a great time to have soups. This is a great time to have like miso soup or seaweed or seafood, anything uh, rich in zinc. This is also a great time to pay attention to eating low glycemic foods. I know a lot of women talk about during their period having like cravings for chocolate and everything. Um, you're okay with doing some dark chocolate, it's totally fine. Um, maybe even a glass of red wine, it is fine. But don't go too overboard. But really try to focus in on the rest of the day, what is gonna make you full, what's going to nourish your body and help you balance out your hormones. So I love teaching women about cycle syncing. So I hope this was helpful for you. I design programs for women that help you cycle sync exercise during the phases of your hormone. This is great for all around health. And also if body composition is one of your goals, this is a great way to learn your body and really take it to the next level. So I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, share to your friends. If you have any other topics related to PCOS, let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.